It's time for reinforcements. Prime, welcome to me doing the reaction thing uh, to the young rock. I was trying to roll the R there, but it was hard to rock. Rock! It's, it's hard. I, 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 need, I need some agua. Rock! Rock! I can't, I can't roll the R today. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, um, not necessarily my favorite uh, wrestler of all time. As a matter of fact, as a kid, I never really liked the rock just because his overacting. You know, every time he got hit, or every, anytime he hit someone, he just, he always, I don't know, it just didn't seem, uh, <laughs> it didn't seem authentic. But, uh, you have to appreciate his drive, and his passion, and, and his charisma. You know, as much as I did not like his work ethic, he was still extremely entertaining. Some of my favorite, uh, Rocky moments was in 2003, when he left for Hollywood and he came back and he became this like obnoxious uh, over the top uh, wrestler thing whatever I, I kind of like gave him the moniker of like Hollywood Rock um, he had like this long entrance and I, I loved that he, he just freaking played guitar and sang and made me laugh a lot <laughs> so um I, I welcome this idea because I love wrestling. Uh, I appreciate The Rock. I like his movies and stuff. And um, I'm a mark for this. Like uh, I, I watched the show, of course, for the comedy and for some of the insight of a uh, little moment of, uh, per se, The Rock's like actual, you know, legacy and little insiders and. Little inside jokes and stuff, so, I don't know. So, alright, without further ado, let's do it. This is episode three. Hey, it's that guy. Is he... He's, he's from... He's from the WandaVision. Uh-huh, uh -huh. <laughs> the Scorpion King, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> wow. That must have been surreal for him. Really? Selling merch? Well, none of that ever did happen, so... Okay. Subtle. Is that supposed to be his grandma or something? Really? So everyone's like, yay, Rocky Chat, really? Whoa, the 
Hey. Oh. Oh, no way. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's a fa- what? That's fucked up. My grandmother and my dad could feel the world of wrestling changing. And their futures look bright. Hey, Dewey. Pick it up. Whoa, why did I put you in the kitchen for ladies? That's the best of the moon. He's rocking up with this. <laughs> what? No! That's funny. Okay. I don't even think they made a toy for him. <laughs> yeah, Rocky Johnson did not get a toy. Why would a wrestling promotion get, like, such a... A exclusive contract? What do I have a feeling he's about to get fired? Is this when it happens? Star search? So that's all. Down. 
Yeah, the, the <laughs> A penthouse dog. <laughs> yeah, and wait till Hogan comes. <laughs> They're never going to want you guys. Wow. <laughs> what? What a maneuver! Could they not make him look like Vince? What kind of dog is that? What? The fuck does that even mean? You're not breathing. It's just air in you. Uh, whatever. I'm trying to think of a saying. That was so hokey. That's gross. Wait, she's actually going to sing? So my papa
<laughs> so like you, you just... oh the Asian promoter is that I can tell I thought that was Bobby Lee what <laughs> oh, do you want to be number one guy? Damn. Alright, so it's time to talk truths now with this show. It's hokey. It's pretentious. It's borderline obnoxious, in a way. They're trying to throw in this narrative with The Rock going for president. Who knows? Hey, you never know. Like, ten years from now, The Rock actually does run for president. That would be some funny-ass shit. Um, not even funny. It could actually happen. But anyway... Um, like I've said before, I'm I'm very hardcore into professional wrestling, WWE wrestling, and I read the gossip headlines and, and I know it all. And the way this show tries to pretend with some of the storylines, it, it's a little bit it's a little bit obnoxious. It's 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 not fair to the actual real story that happened. But of course, you know, you take liberties when you make a TV show based on true events, so I get that part, but I, I don't like how, see, if it was through the perspective of the uh, of a child, seeing their father being like this over-the-top uh, star, then yeah, it would make sense, but the way The Rock tries to make it seem like, yo, his dad was not that big of a star, he was doing like bingo halls and yeah, he was in the WWE, but he wasn't a huge star. And I also don't like the way the show, again, tries to be extremely pretentious with the uh, ideology of family, but then so quick to disregard all the other wrestlers. Like, yeah, for example, let's say, they didn't really say, for you know, so I'm, I'm just going to go with a hypothetical here. So, like, Junkyard Dog and King Kong Bundy were supposed to headline a wrestling event for Rocky's grandmother, but they decided to not go there and go to a different show because that other show is going to pay them more. Now, does that make them bad guys? Like, they have their own families. They got their own desires and shit, right? So if you're going to pay me 50 bucks, 100 bucks to do your event, but this guy wants to pay me 200, 300, 500, I think I might want to go to that guy, you know. Um, not that I don't like you, but his business. I don't like how the show tries to downplay that. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure that Rocky Johnson never got an action figure, because around this time, I think he ends up getting a release. From WWE, if anything, I don't remember much. Like, I don't really remember much about Rocky Johnson, really. I just remember him winning the tag team titles, and, and that's about it. And then he disappears. I don't know, I'm, I'm starting to, like, be a back with the show, you know. Because it's playing it so safe for Rocky's side of the family. And they're all giving this, like, <laughs> look how great we are family, you know, it's like, it's like Rocky selling his family so high, because of course, hey, it's his TV show, you know, he's going to do that, the narrative is so lacking, I don't understand the subplot with the mom and the singing and, you know, what the hell does she even do, I guess she's just a stay-at-home mom, while The Rock 
or Rocky's dad plays wrestler. Like, they're not really specific on all this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comment down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.